Hey guys, what's up, it's John, and in this video I wanted to review the new Mega Retron HD. It sounds like a transformer, I know, but this is by Hyperkin, and this is a brand new HD uh, system coming out, it's a Genesis clone, so it will play Genesis games in, in HD in 720. Uh, and this is a, what, a kind of a budget system, right? So it's gonna retail for around 50 bucks US dollars, which is not too bad, opposed to the Mega SG, which uh, Analog recently announced, and that's gonna retail for 190 US dollars. That thing's a lot different though. That's FPGA, that thing can play in 10, 1080p, uh, you can add scan lines, some really cool things. Those features aren't featured in this one. So you kind of pay what you get for it, but this is not a bad system necessarily. So we're gonna take a closer look. Comes with one controller, of course the console, it comes with all the cables and hooks up and all that. I haven't noticed any issues with compatibility as far as games not working. I've tried, uh, in the demo I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna compare some footage to standard Genesis, as well as this system, kind of show you audio and video differences. And then I'm also gonna show you the different aspect ratios because it will play in four by three aspect ratio as well as 16 by nine aspect ratio. Um, so I'm gonna show you the box real quick. The packaging looks very similar to their other uh, system packagings. This came along with, uh, they just recently announced or released a, a 2600, uh, the, I think it's called the Retron 77. Uh, and what, one thing I wanna be very clear on this thing, right? This is different than the Retron 5, right? Because a lot of people complain about the Retron 5 uh, basically dumping the ROM and kind of emulating the game. This is different. This reads off the cart. Uh, there's no safe feature or anything like that that you get in the Retron 5. So whether you like that or not, you don't get the benefits of the Retron 5 in that regard, but this is, does read off the cart. It doesn't dump the ROM like you do get in the Retron 5. So there's pros and cons. I want to give you a heads up about that. Uh, and let's take a closer look at the system itself, show you some gameplay. At the very end of the video, I'll share my final thoughts. Let's take a closer look. So here's what the system actually looks like. I'll take this game out. Um, you have the Two controller ports up front, you have a reset button here, your power. They made it look like the Generation 1 Genesis, much smaller than Generation 1. It's more the size of a Gen, Gen 3 Genesis, uh, but it's compact. When you light, when you turn on, this actually lights up, which is really cool. So if you're on here, it kind of makes it look like the volume setting that you had on the original Genesis. Controller sl or cartridge slot right here, of course. Um, and then on the bottom, you have different, your PAL, NTSC Japan, and US, as well as PAL. So different switches here. This is set up to uh, US and TSC, but you can switch it. So that is nice. That is definitely a feature, which is great. Uh, one thing here is the controller. It's a six button controller. Playing this, I haven't really noticed anything too bad about it, to be honest with you. It kind of feels like, I guess the buttons feel a little bit different than a normal Genesis, just slightly. They're kind of a little higher than normal than I'm used to. Not a huge issue, but it is there. I just want to point that out for you. Uh, but the D-pad is okay. It's just like a normal Genesis controller. I definitely prefer D-pads on Nintendo controllers, but it works, it does its purpose. This cord, by the way, is super long. It's like over 10 feet long, so that's not an issue. It's super long, almost excessively long. Which again, it's, not, it's better to be too long than too short. Uh, that's what she said anyway. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, definitely a super long cord. Um, and this is how the games plug into it. And it kind of grips the games, but not too bad. I can still take it out with one hand. I don't have to like use both hands to uh, do I know past products it takes a little harder, so they definitely improve that. This game I'm gonna show you, this is like Street to Rage Simpsons Edition. This is a, a homebrew game, it's a hack. Uh, John Riggs, great YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his channel below. He, I bought this from him a while ago, and I just wanna show you, it's a really funny, uh, it's, it's Street to Rage meets the Simpsons beat em up. Speaking of which, I really wish they'd make a Simpsons beat em up home port. Uh, I think it would be awesome for any system, for any console. So if you're listening, please make one. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a closer look at some gameplay footage and go from there and I'm gonna share my final thoughts. Thanks.
So in conclusion, what do I think about the Mega Retron HT? I think for 50 bucks, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, it's, it's price right. It's, this is a budget console. So if you're a big fan of Genesis and maybe your Genesis doesn't work anymore and you want to play games on, on a high def television, to hook it up AV to your HDTV doesn't look very good. It looks very blurry. You can notice if you look at the, the comparison video with the Aladdin, which by the way is one of my favorite games for the Genesis. That's why I selected that game. Uh, there was a border that kind of appeared around the Genesis, the great border, which is odd. That doesn't come with here. You also notice the, the image is much sharper. Uh, it's brighter, the colors are brighter, and the music is a lot more clear. Uh, and it just makes a huge difference. Um, again, compatibility-wise, I haven't noticed any issues with any games not uh, playing on this thing. Um, so if you're a huge Genesis fan, you want you have a kind of a budget, how much you want to spend, this is a product to look into. If you are even a bigger Genesis fan and you have more money to spend, then perhaps the analog system, which is close to $200, which is almost four times the cost of this, might be a, a better system for you as well. It just kind of depends it's, it's, if you do want to, do you want a Lexus or do you want a Toyota? They both uh, drive, they both do very similar things. It just depends on, on luxury and what you want. That's how I compare this system to the Mega SG console. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. That concludes my, my video, my review over the Mega Retro on HD. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. And guys, leave a comment below. That's awesome. And the fact you guys subscribe or subscribe already, that's huge to me as well. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.